Did anybody hear that Asian slip? He said, everybody crap. Fuck, <laughs> 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 Cowtown, what the fuck is good, guys? Yeah, this is sick. This is sick. In Tempe, too. God love Tempe. Shout out to Tempe. Love you guys, man. I was in Scottsdale last weekend, and that place fucking sucks. Dude. That place sucks bad. <laughs> Tempe's like Scottsdale's shitty little brother, you know what I mean? It's got all the same things, but everyone's like fucking down for each other. <laughs> it feels like more at home. I was in Scottsdale, I got off the freeway in Scottsdale, and I saw a homeless lady who was hot as fuck. <laughs> No hoes are safe, you know? And she was attractive too. I almost pulled over. I was like, hey, you like laughing, bitch? Like, what you Get you in the bathroom, a little hand sanitizer, a little tap water. I'm feeling good, babe. You know? <laughs> it's not what I deserve, anyways, right? A homeless Scottsdale 8. Yeah, is that the bite you're getting from me already? It's a culture shock, you know? It's an old town, Scottsdale. I saw a group of grown ups riding bicycles around with smiles on their faces. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> there, when I grew up in, dude, you see an adult on a bike, they are not doing well. <laughs> it's probably not their bike either, let's be real. You know, like, no judgment either, you know, we've all been there, maybe, you know what I mean? Just an oversized man and an undersized huffy just fucking pedaling his ass on <laughs> Just trying to get to the shift on time. Maybe got a homie on the back just berating me. Hurry up, we'll fucking pedal faster! I'm, like, I'm trying, Juan! <laughs> Don't spit on my neck again, dude. <laughs> it's crazy, man. I was fun. My childhood was cool, dude. I grew up in a diverse neighborhood, and she was really cool. Like things, I, as I grew up, I just saw like things were just different. People's childhoods were all different. Like, for example, remember when you were a kid, you cracked open a fresh bag of bugles? Like, how fucking fun that used to be! All the innocent fun you can have, you know? All the girls in the neighborhood put them on. I'm a witch, you know? <laughs> Manifestation's a motherfucker, dude. You guys got it too. <laughs> Most of you are. <laughs> All the boys, I'm Wolverine, yeah, It's a blast, man. Not me, though. I got the deagles on my fingers, I just turned into a bad bitch with a fresh set of nails. You understand? <laughs> my nose can't borrow my bike, bitch. You better fall back, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> just snagging and being a pimp, dude. <laughs> Sometimes I pull, I lean in. To the, to the stereotype, super bad. I want to be a bad bitch. I'd be smoking candy cigarettes out of a fresh Newport pack, dude. You know what I mean? It's fun. <laughs> mm. Been feeling good recently, man. I, I've been happy, which is cool. It's kind of a new emotion for me. I'm uh, a. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thanks, guys. <laughs> I was taking Zola for three years. I was antidepressants. You've never taken Zolab yet. I got the slow head nod from the short white guy in the front. You don't skate, huh? You, know, you don't skate, okay. You look like a fucking shooting guard, dude. You look like a fucking mean three, dude. Little Steve Kerr looking motherfucker, dude. You look, you're cool as hell, bro. I like you. <laughs> yeah, I was taking Zolab for three years, and what that means is, is for three years I had zero sex. No sex drive at all. But now that I'm off, full sex drive, baby. No issues! <laughs> Still not fucking, though. I, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Turns out Zolov has nothing to do with how attractive I am. <laughs> it's been me the whole time, dude. And I get it. I'm not mad. I'm very self-aware. Not everyone wants to fuck this right away. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's never been an objection ever, you know, I'm not, I'm not a fan of it. Not everyone wants to take home someone that looks like both Jay and Silent Bob. <laughs> Damn it, dude. Fucking clap laughing. That hurts me and helps me so much. <laughs> That's a double-edged sword, Daddy. I don't know how to feel about that one, you know? Someone came up to me and told me to my face that I looked like Kurt Cobain ate sandwiches instead of shotgun bullets. That's so fucking it. And you guys can laugh, dude. Kurt's not here. You know what I mean? I don't know if you guys looked at the 90s, but. <laughs> well, he's watching, actually, probably. <laughs> Wow, man. So I've been spending a lot of time alone recently now, just trying to like figure out what I like to do, finding my individuality, you know, just hobbyist shit. Started bird watching. 
Yeah, dude, it's desperate, bro. Yeah, that last deserves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've, I've been enjoying myself, though. I've been studying hard, and like, so far, my favorite bird on earth is a black cardinal. You guys might not be familiar, but there's only about 50 to 53 of them. They all live in Arizona. Well, 50 to 53, depending on who the punter is. And, Super fast, super strong. It's pretty cool, dude. And every fall through winter, black cardinals travel city to city just battling out, dude. Sometimes fighting eagles from Philadelphia. Lions from Detroit, gay cowboys, and black cardinals fight anyway. <laughs> I wasn't sure if the sports reference was gonna work in this crowd. You guys are with it, okay. <laughs> Who just said go birds? <laughs> Trash can. <laughs> Spent a lot of time alone, man. <laughs> Been masturbating religiously, one might say. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't pull back in. We all do it. Be more though, probably. Yeah. I spent too much time in my life not feeling good. You know what I mean? I know how to feel good 10 seconds at a time. No God required. You know? <laughs> I don't even gotta get on my knees anymore, you know? A couple of Catholics are coming back. I know I've been watching too much porn because it started like bleeding my everyday activities. I was like, this morning I was brushing my teeth and I was getting my tongue, you know? Oh, I gagged. That's not weird. That happens. What was weird was when I winked at myself in the mirror and just like kept going. Like, like ooh, really hard. <laughs> Mascara running and shit. Oh. Ah. Smiling at myself in the mirror like a fucking psycho, just trying to feel good, you know? <laughs> wow, man. Another example, I was at a barbecue last weekend. They had hot dogs. And I know we just met, but I got one fast, dude. <laughs> I didn't even say hi to anybody, I went straight to the grill. Like, Glizzy, you're right, you're right, I'm right, dude. Glizzy God. Yeah. I, I grabbed a hot dog, but I was holding it vertically. <laughs> it's a red flag already, dude. Nobody eats a hot dog top down, just me and the gay community. Like, that's it. And it wasn't even had a bun on it yet either, it's a hot, hot dog in my hand. Right, my lips are all over my fingers. It's a bad look for Quinceanera, dude, I'll tell you that. It's a lot of pissed off Tios and Tias at that party, bro. One of them grabbed me by my shirt. I'm like, she's 15 years old. He's like, I don't fucking see that yet. I'm sorry, dude. You know, he's like, wait till she's 16 and have her first kid like a real Mexican woman. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, dude. Hey, don't fight. You don't know where I come from, okay? I got a 33 year old grandmother in my family. Fucking fall back. <laughs> Alright? We, we fuck young in Avondale. You understand? Yeah, that'll make a little more sense now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm an honorary Mexican as far as I'm concerned. Dude, what other white guy you know spent multiple Christmas Eves in a hot ass kitchen just going to working masa, dude? <laughs> I got masa muscles under this, dude. <laughs> Sweating and shit, you know? Only then to buy those same tamales from your girlfriend's mom full price on Christmas Day. Okay? I was in the trenches, man. You don't know me, okay? I love Mexican culture. That's honestly my favorite shit ever. I grew up around it. It's my favorite. You guys are the only people on earth that still call on the radio station to tell someone you love them. <laughs> It's beautiful. It's the most purest form of love I've ever heard in my life. And if you're a real one, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Every night, 10 o'clock, R. Dub in the Quiet Storm. Hey, what's up? This is R. Dub in the Quiet Storm. Right now, we're taking dedications. We've got Miguel on the line, Miguel. Hey, what's up, R. Dub? <laughs> when I said I shot my baby Maria from New Mexico, Arizona, all the way from fucking Florence. I'm not there right now, but I will be soon, baby. I love you. Mwah! Accept this call, please press two. We got some, we got some next ones in here. You know how those go. Gotta leave that voice real quick, Daddy. You know. Fuck, oh, man. That's something I you guys just keep doing that shit. I'll keep choking my toothbrush. Hope I feel something. You know. Maybe one day. Let's see. You guys ever had a butthole itch so serious that when you did itch it, you thought you might be bisexual? Be real. Be vulnerable, you know. I did. 
It wasn't one of those ones you could just like wiggle out of either, you know? It was no like fucking MJ kick. It was in there and I got it. I'm gonna paint the picture for you guys right now. I was laying bat flat on my shower tub combo. Heels on the wall in front of me. We see it? I'm not asking if you want to, we see it. It's kind of a knuckle deep. I was like, this don't suck. <laughs> and I was scared too. I'd never been there back there before. It's unexplored territory. I was a Lucy Clark of my own asshole that night. State lines meant nothing. I went in. I got about a knuckle and a half deep with my eyes start rolling in the back of my head. I start getting the bambi legs. You're like, whoa! Is, is this how it starts? Your hemorrhoids a gateway drug to being gay? What the fuck is happening in my body right now? <laughs> I don't know what a dick feels like, but wrapping a little bit of sandpaper during a flare-up, Papa, get over here, let's fix this, you know? It's not gay, it's your homie. I need your help. <laughs> <laughs> Bill Cosby's out of prison. <laughs> don't support it, just state facts, dude. I'm not here to fucking... If you don't know, cover your drinks. I <laughs> use Say what you want about Bill. Separate the art from the artist for a second if you can. He's one hell of a businessman. You gotta give him that. Lucrative. Has very, very lucrative. Hasbro Interactive, the creators of the Bop It. Remember the kids tour the Bop It? They approached Bill Cosby to make the first ever adult Bop It. And they made it. And they came out with a commercial for it already and it's releasing soon. And I memorize it for you tonight. And it goes just like this. works here. He was a big part of the reason, he was a big producer at the show, you know. Some would say that we wouldn't even be here if it wasn't for him. So please, give it up for the great Zade Aircat! 